Hi, I'm Corey Tiller. I'm uh, with SPT Lab Tech. I'm a product manager for sample management. I'll be talking today about a small case study uh, with our sample management products. So at SPT Lab Tech, we have a wide portfolio of products we offer um, from liquid handling, sample management, uh, all the way to cryo EM and uh, structural biology. So I'm going to focus more today on sample management. Uh, but just to note, we have kind of a large uh, portfolio focused uh, around different pillars uh, around the industry uh, and always backed by our uh, Reliance team uh, for service and support. So inside our sample management portfolio, we have automated storage uh, options. Um, we have our three main products here from ambient to minus 20. We have compact, which is new, and compound, which is uh, more stable of industry uh, staple product for the last 20 plus years, and Arctic, which is our minus 80 freezer. So with SPT, all, all these freezers hold nine millimeter format vials, 96 format, um, different capacities based on vial size or uh, freezer, um, all distinctly pneumatic. So um, samples are moved without robotics, all pneumatically through the stores. Um, and of course, with everything kind of automation, you get an enhanced data tracking uh, model, more reliable um, scalability with your processes, uh, and then some things that are a little bit more unique to us is the high density format in which we store vials, which is rackless, um, which is fairly unique. It enables a real walk up kind of vending machine style access to the systems. Um, all of these kind of introduce efficiencies and remove manual tasks from laboratories. Um, uh, that can be really beneficial to uh, any automated user out there. So for today, just briefly talking through a case study um, around one of our products and around one of our opportunities uh, with a customer. In this case, we're going to call them customer S. So we'll talk a little bit about what they need, uh, the whole process, kind of how, how we got through um, their project and what they're doing today. So who they are, they're a gene editing company um, that uh, is targeting drug discovery in kind of the synthetic biology space. So uh, making a product essentially to deliver to the customers um, and inside you know, each, each kit they deliver, their, they have you know, unique design products um, that all, their project needed to kind of meet that need. So they're a smaller company growing fairly rapidly and uh, as such, kind of in their design, they're a really early adopter of uh, automation for their lab. So uh, maybe probably earlier than most companies, they were investing quite heavily in automation and utilize it to enable their business from kind of uh, research all the way out to output of product. So for this particular project, they needed minus 20 storage, around 25,000 samples to be stored, uh, sample cherry picking, from kind of full uh, to a full cherry picked plates or multiple racks, and then that data tracking and integration into a, a downstream kind of hardware uh, integration for uh, liquid handling and so forth on their on their back end of their workflow, and a really high daily usage rate. So we're talking 20 batches a day, uh, at least 20 racks. So usually multiple racks per batch. Um, so in this case, automation was the only answer. You can't really expect manual workflows to work at this level. Um, so they came to us and we started talking through it. At the time, uh, they they were kind of working through different kind of options, but automation was clear. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about why they chose Compound. So Compound, they was chosen because it's been a proven technology for over 20 years, as I mentioned. It was originally released in 2001, a real stable footprint with uh, kind of a long history of uh, robust service and scalability. Uh, it's reliable, again, because of that longstanding history, as well as our pneumatic-based technology, they were, weren't as worried about failures at cold temperatures and kind of because of their need for daily use, they really needed a reliable solution. So the, the other option was that they would scale with their business. So again, 25,000 samples, um, we hold up to 100,000 in compound for their tube type, and so we could scale with their business needs. 
um, both now and in the future. And then integration friendly, which was key. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. But uh, utilization of the Connect module and their, and their integration is unique to the industry as well as fast and uh, simple hardware integration. So really there, there are four main, main buckets were here. So something that could meet their daily needs as well as scale with their future needs. So their integration looks a little bit like this. So on the left is kind of a basic idea in that uh, they walk up, they add these new oligonucleotides to compound through Comstacker module, it sits up front, and you see it on both sides here. Uh, and then uh, from, from there, samples are loaded, stored in compound, and then actual runs are kicked off from this uh, integration you can see on the right here. So it's a really unique uh, integration with quite a bit of hardware in there, quite a bit of different pieces of kit, um, but samples are uh, ordered from the integration. They're sent through pneumatic piping to the connect module, which you can kind of see here uh, on both sides. There's the kind of input or output pipe here from compound. So vials get shot through the, the drop ceiling and down through a pipe and the connect module sits here. And those samples are uh, collected at the connect module till you get the full rack or the output. Um, then those are moved with the robotic arm through different elements of the work cells. So they're thawed, they're uh, centrifuged, decapped, and then processed through their uh, liquid handling and their workflow to get an output uh, work, uh, I guess, plate that they then uh, sell to their customers. So that, uh, that work cell is kind of their product work cell. And then samples after they're collected um, from the Connect module are sent back into compounds. So that's this kind of section four here. All right. So um, talk a little bit about kind of their efficiency gains uh, and then a little bit through the data on this project. So this project wouldn't really exist without in automation, without compound. So the efficiency gained is purely around that kind of style. So uh, there wasn't really a good manual process to, to go against, but it's worth kind of stacking up in this way. So the walk-up rack loading ability and the amount of batch processing you can do with Comstack really enabled them to get a lot more utilization out of your day-to-day -day, uh, research associate or te technician usage and save quite a bit of lab work time. Um, this is also easily trained and maintained as opposed to kind of a, a manual process. So with Compound, you're looking at maybe five minutes to you know, set up a hotel and press input and walk away. Those are all scanned, uh, recorded into their limbs through an integration, completely uh, low user touch points. Um, that's you know roughly equivalent to 35 minutes without. So 30 minutes of saving on store. Not huge, but it's still quite a bit of savings per batch. On retrieval is really where we get the gains. Um, so direct retrieval into the work cell through the pneumatic piping I talked about, and then bark code reading and data transferring is all handled automatically. So if you're doing this by hand, you're retrieving the labware out of the freezers, you're scanning the barcodes to uh, get the inventory, and then uh, scanning on return to make sure that everything's updated. So kind of a full um, input-output uh, data track solution. Uh, retrieving the source labware can be quite difficult if you're having to pick um, samples one by one by hand. So with Compound, you have quite a bit of savings throughout. And this is 65 minutes per batch. So uh, this customer is doing 25, 20 batches per day uh, on average, and you end up saving quite a bit of man hours from just simple uh, utilization of the automation. So really a, a easy uh, gain to see uh, from this customer and really solved their main problems and kind of distributed uh, the work throughout, um, giving that product business a real boost uh, that would otherwise be very labor intensive. So that was a quick snapshot of our uh, compound technology and uh, kind of quick idea of how it can be utilized throughout the business or your business um, using our lovely customer uh, case study.